Blackboard's April release 3900.89 is available as of today, April 4th, 2024. This release is full of new features. We do not have time to cover them all in this video, but I will provide a demonstration of several of the features as well as an overview of a few others that many will find useful. One feature that was highly requested is the ability to create anonymous posts and discussions. After creating a discussion, you can go into the settings and select allow anonymous responses and replies, and then click save. It is important to note that once a discussion has been marked for anonymous posts and a student has posted, you may not switch this to a graded item. Again, anonymous discussions cannot be entered as graded items and cannot be changed to a graded item. Another new feature is the ability to add question feedback when grading by student. To do so, you can open the assignment and go to submissions, click on an assignment to open it, and make sure you have the students tab selected. From here, you now see this plus sign where you can add individual feedback to questions. You can insert feedback in the text editor and save changes. It is important to note that at this time, you cannot leave feedback uh, on a question if grading by questions. So there's no option to add feedback here. And from a student perspective, they will now see or have the ability to see their answers as well as the feedback given for that question. And had overall feedback been provided, they would see that over here as well. Another useful feature that was added this month is the ability to duplicate questions in assignments or assessments. To do so, once you have a question created, you can click the three dots to the right and select duplicate. This will duplicate the question as well as the answers. If you would like to make edits, you can then click the three dots to the right of that question and click edit. Blackboard also added a feature to allow users to change due dates as well as hide on and show on dates using the batch edit feature. This will save instructors time as they no longer need to open each individual assignment to make these adjustments. To do so, select batch edit by clicking the three dots in the upper right across from course content and selecting batch edit. From here, choose an assignment and then across from the assignment, click the calendar. You can now change the due date or add or change a show on or hide after date. Default question values have now been changed from 10 points to one point. So for example, if I go to create a new question in an assignment, the point value is now set at one as opposed to 10. Likert answer options now include four and six in addition to three, five, and seven. So for example, if we create a Likert question, we can now see the scale range has added four and six to the options. Instructors now have the ability to see if an assignment has been auto-submitted by viewing the attempt log. This would occur if a time limit has been set on the assignment. To view this, you open the assignment, click submissions, and then click the three dots out to the right of a student and select attempt logs. Here I can now see that this assignment was auto-submitted. When downloading the gradebook, instructors now have the ability to include the overall grade. So when selecting to download the gradebook, you can now select overall grade and then view that here in the spreadsheet. Another new feature is that student feedback will now remain visible regardless of release conditions. For example, if a hide after date was selected, 
students will still be able to see feedback in the gradebook. Prior to this release, the feedback disappeared even though the grade remained. To find out more information on these features, you can visit niu.edu backslash blackboard, click the drop down arrow next to Ultra, and select what's new in Ultra. You can also reach out to CITL by email at CITL, that's C I T L, at niu.edu.